Today we're talking about how we can use simplicity to create warm and inviting spaces. So if that sounds interesting, this video is for you. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. When we think about simplicity in design, we often think about the look of the space, but let's also think about how we can simplify the process of putting the space together. There are a number of concepts and guidelines that we can use that provide us ways to create a space that's warm, inviting, and elegantly simple. There's a fine balance between an interior that's simple to the point of being spare and bland, and one that exudes calm, minimal sophistication. The keys to creating an emotional connection to the space are to use restraint in the selection of colors and materials and including pieces that reflect your style and personality. A neutral color palette is a great place to start, giving your space and your home a cohesive look and a calming feel. A great way to tie everything together with a cohesive color scheme is to use the 60-30-10 rule, where 60% of the room is in one or two main colors on large surfaces like floors and walls and on large furniture pieces. 30% of the room is in one to three subtle non-contrasting colors that accentuate the main colors for items like drapery, rugs, and small furniture pieces and 10% of the room is in contrasting accent colors in the form of lighting, artwork, pillows, and other accessories. Adding a few black accents around the room will further define the space by providing additional contrast to the neutral tones and drawing your eye around the room. Another great way to simplify is to build your design and that neutral palette around a limited selection of materials. You can extend this strategy to selection of materials like woods, metals, and textiles. Wooden white looks have been very on trend and look striking yet simple accented in black. When we're thinking of elevating our homes, it's helpful to think in layers. Layering sounds like we're adding complexity, but it's what creates spaces with depth and personality. The key is to think about it first in terms of the room's envelope of floors, walls, and ceiling, taking into consideration large furniture items first, and then accenting with smaller ones. Next, think about larger items that reside on the planes of your room's envelope, like rugs, drapery, artwork, and lighting. These are the items that give your room depth and texture. Once those items are in place, we can start filling the envelope and layering in accessories. These are items that add personality and life to the room. Think throws, pillows, baskets, greenery, and ceramics. And bring in artisanal and vintage items as well as items that are meaningful to you. Textures are a great way to add visual interest and layered comfort and accessories grouped in tasteful vignettes are eye-catching and help to reinforce the mood or style of the space. Another layer to keep in mind is light. Lighting is key in how we view color and how we feel in a space. Take advantage of natural light and views during daylight hours as much as you can, but when evening rolls around, resist the urge to turn on overhead lights and instead opt for eye level light in the form of lamps and sconces to create a comfortable warm glow. Mixing styles and materials doesn't have to be complicated. Think about creating the mood you want and don't be afraid to mix it up a bit. If you like several different design styles, select your two favorites with one of them being your primary at 80% and the other 20% as a secondary accent style using a neutral color palette as your unifying element. If you're drawn to the styles we've been discussing here, you'll notice that there are many unifying elements amongst them, including natural materials and textures and neutral color palettes. The feel changes as you incorporate the defining elements like the wabi-sabi of Japandi, the luxe materials of Organic Modern, or the slightly boho feel of Desert Modern. These defining elements are the spice you need for your unique expression of style. To keep things interesting, use juxtaposition by placing contrasting items in proximity to each other so that they emphasize each other. Combine some cool colors with warm ones, some dark accents with light colors, vary the heights of furniture and other objects, as well as their scale and shape. 
use hard and soft items, textured and smooth surfaces, as well as matte and glossy finishes. Including this variety of colors, textures, shapes, and sizes with a neutrally unifying color palette creates a space that's interesting, cozy, and elegantly simple. For more design ideas, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.